Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today here, I'll be doing a review for this uh, Fujifilm DL312 Zoom. So actually, this um, Fujifilm actually has a very uh, good zoom of 38mm to 120mm. So yep, it's very impressive because most of the film cameras that I own is up to maximum 90 most common case up to 70 so actually this camera has a very far and good zoom so it's more of less like a digital camera already from the um, I would say early 2000s really because of this knob here so because many people are just wondering um, how to actually turn on the camera so it's actually turned on by this camera um, the knob here but then uh, before we turn on so let's see about the battery because this camera is powered by one uh, CR123A battery so actually there's an issue here is that um, to open up this battery case you will need a coin to open it because it's not that easy to uh, you know to change up the battery so this is something that I don't really like about this camera is the battery and then secondly the thing to on it is to just swipe up so you can see the lens will just pop up something like the Minota Riva I just close back you go back up you come back up again so this will be your zoom so you just like other way to go all the way to zoom so if you want to go back to a uh, non-zoom so you just have to zoom back all the way this is your 38 mm here already so uh, currently there's no film inside so actually there's one and then this camera has a param uh, Roma mode so you just slide to your left for enable paranormal then you slide back up for normal mode you half press you can see green light here so it means it's focusing so other than that here is a show, show down the film so by right actually this camera has a very very interesting thing is that this camera is a wind down counter yes so how does it work means your film over here allow me to open Okay, so that this camera is actually a drop-in film, so I'll explain it to you a bit later. So basically, technically, the film over here will actually um, will go all the way to extract all the way up to here to 36 or 37, depending on the row you have. So it once it finishes, it takes a shot ready, the row here will actually go back by one. So it's actually rewinding inside to the cartridge itself. So once you load in already, you will hear a very very long uh, buzzing sound. The motor sound will actually pull the film up and up and up all the way. So this is the film counter um, clutch here, so it's pressing against. So since the, the body here is open already, I can show you how the paranormal mode looks like. Just observe this part here. Once it's paranormal, you, the object will look like uh, this, so it's basically more rectangular. You slide back up, you go back up again. So, so how does um, this thing works is that you basically you fold your film, you will pull your the lid of the film all the way up to here. Then you just carefully insert in. So somehow what uh, this mechanism is able to actually pull the film back up into here. So how you tell whether it's popular is that the motor will continue run until your period number here. So if you load in not properly or you never stretch in properly, the load here will just remain as a blank yep so this camera has more also such as timer and etc but now we cannot access because there is actually no film inside it so this camera does have auto rewind watch me if once i close it you will hear the motor start to sound it's trying to pull up the film in but try not to do this for too long and there's no film inside you will spoil the camera so other than that this is actually a very good camera you can actually get it so actually this is the infrared focusing light somehow you can see that there will be a red light here up here but mm, there's no film inside so the focusing don't work so this is for um, red eye reduction and then this is for flash mode then after this is for like basically a um, more like portrait mode and no flash this is a bit too hard because my fingers a bit too big no flash mode and then for mountain and then lastly is off so yep there you go um thanks guys for watching this channel and give a thumbs up and like and subscribe thank you 
and see you again soon. Bye!